Well, we begin on a lighter note. Penn State annual fun has come to an end today with more than $15 million being raised. We've been following the 46 hour dance marathon all weekend leading up to the big finale, which happened around four this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Jenkins. All of the money raised will go to help fight pediatric cancer and support families right here in the Susquehanna Valley. News 8 Tamara Gerard joins us live now from Penn State to talk more about those efforts and this year's grand finale that happened earlier today. Hey Amber. Yes, yes. Hello, Jeremy. Well, after a year of hard work and like you said, 46 hours of non-stop dancing, over 16,000 Penn State students, like you just said, raised $15,006,132.46, all for children with cancer. Now, that grand total is the result of work done by more than 400 committee members, thousands and thousands of student volunteers, along with hundreds of fundraising organizations. And because of their work, the Four Diamonds Fund will be able to continue theirs. And that's making sure families of children with cancer never have to pay not even a cent for treatment lessening both the emotional and financial burden of what will most likely be and we know the most difficult part of their life and it's just not not it's just not financial relief it's really all encompassing listen to what one mother had to say it's not about the money the money is the mechanism that makes it possible for us to be able to pay the bills for all of um, the children so that the families don't walk away having the financial burden of cancer and it makes it possible for us to have comprehensive services. That was actually the director of Four Diamonds, but you will, for, he will hear from a mother and her daughter later on tonight at 10 and 11. Now, over the next month, they will choose a new executive uh, director of the program who will then choose a committee, and they will spearhead the next phase of fundraising efforts, and of course, THON 2024. But for now, at State College, Amber Gerard, WGAL News 8. Great.